Hi, everybody. Well, we all know what phishing is, but have you heard of vishing? Well, that term comes from voice phishing, which originally referred to all of those phone calls that we now get saying, hey, you're in trouble with the IRS or your credit card has been compromised trying to get your personal information over the phone. Now there is a vishing ring that is targeting big corporations trying to get into their VPNs. The way they do it is they usually target newish employees and they call them up and they say, hey, we are your company's IT department or we're working with your company's IT department and we're having a problem getting into the VPN and we need your help. They either ask for the credentials over the phone or they go even further and they have a website all set up with you know, things as a portal and ticket and all those things and get the employee to put their password in, um, put their username and even that authentication code you might get on your cell phone or in your email. And then once they're in, they have access to trade secrets, HR records, pretty much anything they want. They even set up LinkedIn and other social media profiles to support their story that either they work with the IT company or they even work inside that company. So while they're only targeting big financial and telecommunication companies right now, it's probably a good idea for everyone to have this scam in the back of their minds. Well, American workers are failing their drug tests in astronomical numbers. And before you say, oh, it's COVID, these numbers are actually from 2019 before most of us had ever even heard the word coronavirus. This is the Quest Diagnostic Drug Testing Index. It's put out every single year. This one is from 2019, like I said, and it shows that marijuana use is now in the double digits and cocaine and meth usage is way up, especially in the Midwest. Um, this is a 16 year high and the researchers saying they're already looking forward at the 2020 numbers, which that'll be COVID related most likely. Those numbers are not looking good and they're saying this could be bad news for employers and employees for years to come if we don't get this under control. So most of us probably had no idea that we would ever be comfortable masking up before leaving the house and, and going into a store. But those service employees that work in your local restaurant or your local grocery store, they never believe that they would, they would be on the front lines of preventing a pandemic, but they are. Now it is up to them to tell people you can't come in without a mask. This has led to violence. There are videos of people being attacked. There was even one murder based on somebody refusing to wear a mask into a store. So the CDC has come out with some guidance to try to protect these service workers and they uh, have given guidance to the employers as well. First of all, they say these folks should never be on mass duty alone. There should always be two people. They should have a safe place to go if they feel threatened. There should be cameras and panic buttons. But most of all, they say if you approach somebody, tell them to wear a mask and they refuse, you should just step away and let them go. It's not worth your safety. And that's going to do it for news today. Check out more on these stories at ebiinc.com and we'll see you back here next week.